Hey, what is going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here and today we're going to be talking about the Ground Station Pro's 3D map point of interest mode and what it has to offer. This is a great tool if you have clients looking for those smooth time-lapse builds of their real estate or development projects. So without further ado, let's get into it. Items worth noting before we start, GS Pro, also known as Ground Station Pro, is an iPad app designed to control or plan automatic flights for DJI aircraft. Also, 3D Map POI is a premium feature that requires an in-app purchase to perform. The point of interest mode does not come free in the GS Pro app, even though the app itself is free. You must purchase it in order to use this great feature, and there are a couple of purchase options you can choose from depending on your needs. For me, I have the need for the full feature outside the world of YouTube, so I made the full purchase. It costs around $10 for the one-time charge, or $0.99 cents per hour of use. There is also an option for the use of KML or SHP file import, so pretty handy if you work with geotags or surveying. So after you made the decision on which purchase plan you're going to take, let's head into the point of interest settings and start configuring our flight. First select the 3D map POI. Next select whether you want to tap and configure your mission or use the aircraft to highlight the area you want to capture. We'll choose tap at this point. Now we select the area we want to orbit. Tap on the map where you want to create the center of the building. This will create two concentric circles centered between that point. The black circle indicates the building radius so make this as large or as small as needed. And the blue circle indicates the flight radius. You can drag the circle with the four arrows icon towards the middle to adjust the center circle and drag the white dot on each circle to adjust its corresponding radius. Once you're satisfied with your mission and the selected course, let's move into the camera settings. This is when it starts to get specific to your model, so be sure you fully understand your drone prior to making these settings. The reason you want to select your exact model is that Ground Station Pro calculates its flight parameters and camera timing based off the settings of your drone's camera. So it's important to get this right. There's two main options here, basic and advanced. Under the basic option, you have the camera model, fixed or variable, with variable being cameras like the Zenmuse X5, X5R, X5S, and Z3. Next we want to set the capture mode. Here we can choose from hover and capture at a point, which the app will calculate the flight path and waypoint quantity according to the parameters, or you can choose between capture at equal distance or time interval. In capture at equal distance or time interval modes, the aircraft will not hover during capturing as it flies along the main path. All right, so by now you're probably thinking this is way too complicated, I'm not gonna get this but I promise you, it's easier than it looks. The app makes most of the calculations on its own, so all you have to do is program what you want it to do, and it'll calculate it, and it'll put it in the app for you. You can make it as complex or as simple as possible, so stay with me till the end, and I'll show you how easy it can be. You can set a higher rate for the shutter on the camera to prevent motion blur. In these flight modes, the flight speed is calculated based off the camera features, altitude and resolution settings. Flight radius and building radius can be adjusted to no more than 500 meters for flight and a building radius of 1 meter. And the minimum altitude is 1 meter with 500 meters being the maximum. In the advanced tab you can change the overlap ratio of two consecutive pictures captured along the same main path and can be set from 10% to 99%. Side overlap is the overlap ratio of two pictures on two parallel main paths. This is defined at 60% by default and can be set from 10% to 99%. Gimbal pitch is the angle you would like the camera to be initially set to, however this can be changed manually in flight. It is selectable between negative 90 degrees and zero degrees being the horizon. In mission action is what you would like the aircraft to do once the mission is complete. Choices are return to home, which you can set the preset return to home altitudes, hover, or land, which will land at the final waypoint. Now that we have all our information in the app, 
we can get our drone powered on, connected, and ready for flight. Typically what I do is pre-program my flight prior to going to the field, then I power on and log into the Go app first to get my camera settings as close to the desired settings as possible, and then go into the Ground Station Pro app and adjust the camera settings to the final desired look. To get started with your mission, I recommend starting out with a simple orbit around a familiar area. Taking note of any tall objects and being sure you adjust your flight altitude well above them. Select the object or building you want to take photos or videos of and then set the flight radius around it. I generally take video around my buildings so I leave the majority of the settings at default. In flight you can maneuver the angle of the camera so prior to getting started I will make small corrections to the gimbal and make sure everything's good to go. And just like that, you start your orbit making sure you're recording or taking photos. I hope you find this video helpful. If you did, hit that like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you next time.